All right. Today, boys and girls, we are going to read a story called Summer Birds, The Butterflies of Maria Marion. Summer Birds was a medieval name for the mysterious butterflies and moths that appeared suddenly during warm weather and vanished in the fall. Each year, the sky fills with summer birds. Many people call them butterflies. Everyone believes that these insects come from mud as if by magic. I disagree. I am only 13 years old, but I capture insects and study them. This is a true story, by the way. I have to catch my insects in secret. Neighbors would accuse me of witchcraft if they knew. Everyone says insects are evil, but I know my summer birds are beautiful and harmless. Here's what people thought was happening, but we know that's not true. I keep caterpillars and summer birds in boxes and jars. I feed the caterpillars with leaves. I sit still. I watch. Caterpillars are born from eggs laid by summer birds. The caterpillars eat leaves and they grow and eat some more. When the caterpillars are big enough, they spin cocoons. These are made of silky threads. While the caterpillars rest inside their silky cocoons, they turn into summer birds. What's another word for a summer bird? Butterflies, yeah. The summer birds come out of their cocoons with wings ready to fly. Then they fly from one flower to another, sipping nectar. Look at all those beautiful butterflies. I know the grown-ups are wrong about summer birds. Insects are not born from mud. I have seen their whole life cycle with my own eyes. Insects grow slowly, changing from one form to another. None of the forms are evil. This was just a pretend story. That's not real. I love to paint colorful pictures of every kind of caterpillar, cocoon, and summer bird. I keep a notebook filled with my paintings. I write down everything the summer birds do. In my paintings, I always show which kinds of leaves the caterpillars eat. I also paint the flowers where summer birds drink nectar. Sometimes I think that I am like a summer bird, waiting to fly. Right now, I am a child, but in a few years, I will be grown. When I am a grown-up, I will be free to travel to faraway lands painting all sorts of rare summer birds and flowers. Wow. There she's pretending to fly away on her butterfly wings, sailing away to faraway places. Maybe I will even paint the lizards and frogs of faraway places. I have some tadpoles in a jar of water. I have seen how they are born from eggs, not from mud. I watch the tadpoles eat and grow, and finally, when they are big enough, they begin to grow legs. The tadpoles have turned into frogs. This is a froglet. When it starts to lose its tail, it becomes more and more looking like an adult frog until it's fully grown. Someday, I will put my paintings into a book. Then everyone will know the truth about small animals that change their forms. Wow. 
When people understand the life cycles of creatures that change forms, they will stop calling small animals evil. They will learn, as I have, by seeing a wingless caterpillar turn into a flying summer bird. The end. Hey, this is a true story of a girl who broke new ground as both a scientist and an artist. Thank you for listening.